Okay, so you're going to take the larger of the two fitches, and you're going to start making some um, um, some stroke marks. Some of them are separate, just by themselves, and others will be clustered in groups. And we're going to do like a section and then a section, so you can see exactly what it is I'm doing. Now the areas uh, of the lay-in that I'm leaving open, I'm trying to make them so they're not the same distance apart and they're not the same size either. And I'm using a fairly reasonable amount of glaze, although I am going to blot quite a lot of it away. Basically, just sort of laying groundwork for the um, for the glaze that's going to go on top of this one. But this one is really important because it really um, it'll dictate the shape of of the next uh, glaze. Okay, so now you're going to take your rag, and you're going to blot, but you're kind of unevenly blotting. You're leaving some of the glaze. See how it's not? This is lighter here, but I'm leaving some of that there. That's what I mean by that. And you want to turn your rag because you don't want to get a bunch of excess uh, glaze in your lay-in area. Your blender will do that for you though. You are going to be able to have some of that. Okay, you take your blender and you're going to blend in the direction of the lines of glaze that you put down. Start that way. And then go back the other way. You see how, now how by leaving some larger section of glaze still here, we have a nice irregularity in what we put down. Instead of just being one solid brown color. It's starting to blend nicely now. 